Yes, good morning, Dr. Sam. We're here at the um, your megalithic park, and perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Croatia. The place is called Bol on the island branch, the place where my mother was born. And I've been spending quite a time here every year. This is my ranch, and just below is the megalithic park, which I built uh, two years back in 2014. And these are the things that I like. For a two kilometers radius, nobody's around me. So it's perfectly peaceful, beautiful view of the Adriatic Sea, the most beautiful beach on the planet, called Zlatni Rat, the Golden Horn, the island Fuad. The birds is the only thing you can hear. And the megalithic part is something that really belongs to my research. I've learned that the ancients knew our planet better than we do. They knew the power of energetically potent places. Where are they? Wherever you have underground water flows, you got energy which is getting released. Wherever you have a ley line, energy line, you have energy potent place. Even the grids, like Hartmann grids, or Curie's grids, or Schneider's grids, these are energy lines about 30 centimeters running east west, north south, every three meters they intersect. They are also potent energy places. And there is positive and negative energy. Yeah, well, the ancients knew that if you put a stone block on such energy potent places, the sound receives the energy and slowly releases it to the surrounding area. And if you make a circle from erected stones, then you get energy movement and energy flow either clockwise, and then we call it positive energy, or counterclockwise, which can be called negative energy. So, the idea is how to get the movement you want, for example, positive, and you will see in the megalithic park how I managed to do that, basically I got all my blocks moved a little bit to the right, so I was getting this clockwise energy movement. Also, in the park you'll be able to see symbols for several more prehistorical stone phenomena, like stone balls, which are present all over the planet, from China, New Zealand, Costa Rica, Western Mexico, Easter Island, and then in Europe we have Russia, Northern Albania, Western Serbia, Croatia, and many places in Bosnia. The next one, the pyramids, the next one, we have uh, dolmens, mannequins, and other phenomena. And they are telling us that the ancients knew the power of stones. They also knew the power of certain minerals, for example, quartz crystals which always amplifies the energy. They knew the power of the cavities, underground tunnels. They always amplifies the energy. So the ancients are smart because they are able to locate certain geometrical shape, like the shape of the pyramid, conical shape, or spherical. That's why we have stone pyramids, tumulus, stone balls. And then they would amplify existing energy sources. They are getting high quantities of energy, what they use it for, the same like we do today. The health, the healing aspects, okay. into molecular structure and so on. It's very interesting. Let, let's go and have a look at the uh, your stones right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. That.